Okay, try now seven. We've got a cylindrical tank, we had some water leaking out of it. Um, we were told it satisfied this differential equation. Um, it says that when H is 130, the height of the water is falling at a rate of 1.1 centimetres per minute. So it's falling at a rate. So, what that is saying, I think most of you realise that rate is, a part, is in relation to the dh by dt. So, I think most of you have written dh by dt is 1.1. But it's falling. It's going down. So actually it should have been minus 1.1 dh by dt is minus 1.1. Let me make that clearer. That minus is really important. And I think some people then, if you didn't include the minus here, you ended up getting some weird answers down the bottom and then you started to get yourselves confused. The minus is really important because it's going down. The height is going down. Right, so... Substituting the number uh, 130 in as well, so we get minus 1.1 equals k times um, 130 minus 9 to the power of a half. So this is 121. The square root of 121 is 11. So minus 1.1 equals 11 times k. So k is minus 1.1 divide by 11, which is minus 1 over 10. So that's part A. Moving on to part B, we want to solve the differential equation so that we can find the value of t when h is 50. Okay, so separation of variables, leave the dh where it is move the h minus 9 to the power of 1 half over to the left hand side, so it's with the h. Move the dt up to the uh, right hand side, so I would have k dt. So I've separated the variables, everything with the h here, everything with the uh, t over here. Notice I'm leaving the k here, just to make it a bit easier when I do the integration. It's easy to integrate the k here. Whereas if I had moved it down here, it makes that integral more complicated for yourself. So leave it there where it's easier. I might decide actually to leave it as a minus 1 over 10, considering we know that's what k is now. So I might put k as one, uh, minus 1 over 10 here. Or you might decide to leave it until later on and then substitute the minus 1 over 10 in. It's up to you really. Right, let's get this in a form where we can integrate it. So I need to move the h minus 9 to the top and have a minus 1 half power. And over here, I've got the minus 1 over 10, which is a constant at the front, the integral of dt. Again, you could keep the minus 1 over 10 inside the integral if you prefer, but I've taken it outside to make it easy for myself. Right, let's do some integration. So, uh, right, when I integrate this, so the power, plus one to the power, so that's now gonna be plus one half, because minus one half plus one is a half, divided by the new power, so dividing by a half is the same thing as timesing by two. Over here, I've got the minus one over 10 at the front, multiplied by t, because integrating 1 with respect to t will give me t. And then I've got my constant as well. Right. Well, we were told at the beginning of this process that the tank was full when the leaking started. So that means when the leaking started, as in t equals 0, the height was 200. So let's substitute that in. So height is 200. 
when the leaking started, so t equals zero. So on the right hand side, all I have is my constant. So my constant is two lots of uh, 191 square rooted. So two lots of root 191. That's my constant. Which I can now put that in up here. And now I've got an equation that I can actually use to solve the problem. So I need to find the value of t when h equals 50. So let's substitute h as 50 into this. Um, so that gives 2 root 41 equals let's bring this over here and bring that over there so I'll get 1 over 10 t equals 2 1 uh, root 191 minus 2 root 41 so just move that over there and taking that away over there and then let's times both sides by 10 And if we put that into your calculator, we should get 148 minutes. Let's just check that's what the question wanted. And T is in minutes as well. Yeah, T is in minutes. So yeah, that's correct. Right, so here's a question for you to have a go at. It says fluid is flowing out of a cylindrical tank for constant cross section. The depth h meters of fluid in the tank satisfies this differential equation dh by dt equals minus k root h. Show that the general solution of the differential equation may be written as h equals uh, a minus b t all squared. Given that at time t equals zero, the depth of the fluid in the tank is one, meters, uh, one meter, and that five minutes later the depth of the fluid has reduced to 0 0.5 meters. Find the time in minutes it takes for the tank to empty and find the depth of the water in the tank at 0.5 t minutes. So that's 0.5 times t, whatever your answer was here from here. Okay. So press pause, have a go at that question. When you're ready, press play, because I'm about to show you the answer.